on my way to pick up our new puppy. Um, I am in Massachusetts and I'm driving to Connecticut and I'm kind of nervous, <laughs> a little anxious, I'm not gonna lie. Um, Jacoby is sleeping, he's here with me. He is sleeping, Isaiah's in school and my husband's at work. So we're gonna see, we're gonna see how this goes. We're gonna see how it goes. So we are about um, nine minutes away. Nine minutes away. Kobe, are you excited? Yes. So we are here. The breeder said she's finishing up his bath. I'm trying to process what is about to take place. Just this new change in our lives. Um, just while we're in the car for a little bit. And then I'm just... I'm gonna go in. Oh my god, look at them. They're adorable. Hi. <laughs> Over here. We got him in here. There's a towel and a pee pad in there. He's whimpering a little bit. He's a little sad. I've been trying to encourage him. I'm sure he misses the other pups and mom. Good boy, Jack. You're doing good. Hi. Hi, cutie. So someone got a little car sick and vomited. I just wiped it up. Um, I spoke with the breeder and she said that he's just a little car sick because it's a you know long ride and he's only been in the car once just to go to the vet. So he's not used to this long car ride. So I'm just looking forward to getting there. We're about like uh, 19, 20 minutes away. All right, so we just got in um, because it was already past his lunchtime. So, it, so we're in for Mark. <laughs> so now he is eating. He's got the water. I'm gonna try to get him acclimated to the crate, but after he eats, I'm gonna bring him out to the yard so that we can get him to potty, and then we'll start, you know, get him acquainted with the crate since that's where he's gonna be. So, Kobe, let him eat, Kobe. Good boy. <laughs> So he finished eating, so now I just brought him outside so we can get him to potty before I go back inside. He had no issues there. Got the poop, he already peed. I am going to take the leash off. I was just trying to get in the groove of things, get used to things. I do need to buy him another collar and we're gonna get a harness. I'm just gonna go clean this up. That he's getting kind of comfortable he's like chasing my son around he keeps coming over to me so that he can get the positive reinforcement right now he's he's just hanging out right now and the dog's after relaxing. a lot of running and chasing my son around he's just relaxing so he's getting comfortable in his crate this makes me so happy so he's just relaxing in there he's not trying to come out i do have the door open because um, I just want him to be comfortable and just used to it and then I'll just start to slowly like close the door and see how he does but he's doing it hey buddy <laughs> Um, the blanket with his mom's scent. Aww. Hey, bud. It's bedtime. <laughs>
early morning run in he actually um woke up one time in the middle of the night he woke up around like 1 30 ish maybe all right kobe he woke up maybe like 1 30 ish or something and then after that um he, he my husband brought him out here and then he um woke up at like 5 30 and he's been up since and just ate and now he's <laughs> getting the exercise in with the kids so i'm glad it was just one time that he woke up last night but hoping that after just you know a few days we can get him we can get him to sleep through the night and he's peeing good job buddy yeah so I will keep you guys updated on training, the type of low toxic products we're going to be using even with Jack and just his journey with us. So wish me luck and follow along. Ooh.